Hi everyone. We're going to find two x-intercepts of the function and show that f, the derivative of f equals 0 at some point between the labeled intercepts. The first thing I'm going to do is set my y to 0. So when y is 0, f of x is 0. For this piece, it's going to be 0. And for this piece, that would be negative 4. All right, so there's my two x-intercepts. The next step I'm going to do is differentiate this. So using my product rule, I'm going to write down my x. I'm also going to write this as x times x plus 4 to the 1 half. So that's going to be 1 half times x plus 4 to negative 1 half. And then for the second piece, I write him down. So that's going to be plus... times the derivative of x, which is 1. We should have also taken the derivative of that, which is just 1. So anyway, when you clean this up, what I'm going to do is, um, this is x over 2. So I'm going to write this piece down first. I'm going to multiply it um, by x over 2. I'm factoring by grouping because these two quantities are the same, even though these are different. And I'm going to go ahead and put this as plus x plus 4. Because when you distribute um, this, you're going to get the first piece. And when you distribute this whole thing to that, you're going to get this piece. So it's a, just a technique. Now when you clean this up, you're going to get um, this part right here. If I have a common denominator, this is going to, when you add these two up, so basically x over 2 plus x is really 2 over 2. So we've got the same denominator. So I'm going to write him first. So this is 3 over 2x plus 4, and this is uh, this piece here is going to go in the denominator. So this would be x plus 4 and the square root of that. Now, we're going to set this to 0, and when you set this to 0, the denominator goes away. So what we have is 3 halves x plus 4 equals 0, so 3 halves x equals negative 4, so x is going to equal negative 8 thirds. So x equals negative 8 thirds. So I'll not let me write on here. Okay. All right, and negative 8 thirds is indeed in between um, 0 and negative 4. Okay, and the next one's very similar, so I'll have more room for this one. We have f of x equals negative 3 x times the square root of x plus 1. So again, I'm going to set this to 0, and this piece when uh, y is 0, I'm setting y to 0, sorry, it's going to be 0. And for this piece, that's going to be negative 1, comma, 0. So those are two x-intercepts. So we want our, um, we have to show that there's a point when we take the derivative that's in between negative 1 and 0. So we want something right in here. Okay, so we're going to take the derivative of f. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this. So f of x equals negative 3x times x plus 1 to the 1 half. And then um, we're going to copy him down. And we take the derivative. Take the derivative of this piece, which is 1 half times x plus 1 to negative 1 half. 
and the derivative of the inner function is just 1. And then you're going to say plus, and you um, write him down, so that's going to be x plus 1 to the 1 half times the derivative of this piece, which is negative 3. So what we can do is um, write this, again by grouping, because we have two of these. We can write this as negative 3 to the x plus 1 to negative 1 half times x over 2, that's this piece, plus x plus 1. And basically what I'm doing is I'm factoring out the negative 3 here and putting it in front, basically, of both of those. Okay, so now we have to add these two x's, which is going to be 3 halves. So what you're going to get is negative 3 x plus 1 to negative 1 half times 3 over 2x plus 1. And the reason we want to do this is because um, we're going to want to sit, set this to 0. So I'm going to go on the next slide and rewrite this again. So this is going to be um, negative 3 times 3 over 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 to the 1 half. And when you set this to 0, the denominator goes away. So now all you have to do is solve for um, x, and you're going to get, um, you can just set this part to 0, and you're going to get x equals negative 2 thirds. So negative 2 thirds is definitely in between uh, negative 1 and 0. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.